now coming to the big fat bollywood divorce now he is dating this actress so suddenly her demand which was looking between 5 to 10 crores it's up to 250 crores i was uh, just sharing with someone that i had got over 250 crores as a final divorce settlement so who got that 250 crore settlement i want to have a two fold question Mm. In your experience, who is more likely to cheat, the man or the woman? And the second one is how disastrous is cheating when it comes to a divorce proceeding. Why would you take a joint home loan? You're trying to save the taxes for the government. Correct. Don't do that. Men also get abused. I had a case, okay? And he kept on calling my office and he said, "Please tell ma'am that my wife hits me." And he was showing me his wife hitting him. how is divorce situation changing in india right. and be as a 27 20 28 year old guy who is about to get married what should i do to protect myself i don't advise for a very long time to have joint accounts mm. you know women keep your money separate you as a man keep your money separate you know because i think that is the way forward to go yeah. and when you know there's a new trend everybody tries to take home loans and they do a joint home loan correct i just think that's a really bad idea why would you take a joint home loan you know to uh, you're you're trying to save the taxes for the government correct don't do that because if if your wife claims that 50% you may have to give her part of the house better give to income tax officer wo utna de do thoda sa you know don't just always go the best taxation angle yeah. may not be the best matrimonial angle sure you yeah. know so don't have don't have too many joint properties maybe if you are you've been together for a very long time that is a different scenario but that's not the question today yeah the question is how would you protect yourself yeah. i would say don't have joint bank accounts definitely don't have joint properties if you're staying with your parents if they are big family houses Don't stay with the parents because the wife can claim. Really? Yes. If I stay with my parents yes. and my wife moves in with me, yes. And if I divorce, the wife has to move in with you. Okay. Yeah. yeah of naturally. course. She has to. <laughs> <laughs> she moves in with me. Yes. And then if I divorce her, yes. she can claim my parents. Yes, home. she can because that becomes her matrimonial home. It doesn't sound fair. Well, that's life, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and so, that's the law. So that's thank God I stay in rented house. Thank God you stay in a rented yeah. house. <laughs> You know there are there are other things that you can do like you know you can gift your property to someone Okay and then after a while when the case is over take the gift deed back That is also there Yeah Everything is there come to me I'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> no, But what if the judge says no you gifted this after the divorce paper was signed so That's okay That's okay Yeah And I I always say that uh, when you're paying for a marriage keep your bills because you can even the the wife can also claim that you know you've uh, um taken a dowry yeah you don't want to be in that kind of a mess you know keep your keep your bills she can also say that you made her pay for the marriage you know so oh, she can say that that they forced me to pay and have a marriage where we ended up spending 5 crores on the marriage mm you know saying that is dowry and in yes. cash and all yes. that yes you know so keep your bills so at least you have proof you know and people keep on saying no no you're you're advising that my marriage will go bad but i'm not saying that your marriage will go bad but what if it does go bad wouldn't you feel better with this advice than yeah. suddenly you know you're staying in a big bungalow in bandra yeah. and your wife comes to claim 50% of it then you'll say i wish i'd listened to vandana sha yeah you know what i'm saying so at least take precaution i also say that you know have an emotional support ready Yeah. You know, have a good family, have good friends. If your family is not that great, have good friends. You know, and be honest to a few friends. Mm. So that if anything goes bad, at least they can also come in as witnesses and as part of evidence. Yeah. You know, as to as to what has been going on in the marriage. There's one more uh, finance tip that I wanted to share which I sure. researched about. So in term insurance, which is like, you know, if let's say I have a 1 crore life insurance. Yes. And if something happens to me and my parents get that money, yes. right? but if i am also married yes uh, let's say while i am married my wife also gets a part of it now let's say that is I, if she is the nominee yes yeah, she is a nominee yes. and now there is something called a married woman protection act like there is a check box correct and if you check that 
no matter if you get divorced to your wife or not she yes. will still get that money if you die correct right so one tip that i discovered is that if you divorce your wife make sure that you go back to your life insurance and ask them to you know and basically close that existing life insurance correct. because you cannot change that married the woman protection act obviously. thing you cannot uncheck it so stop with that old life insurance and get a new life insurance hmm. so that if anything happens to you, your money is going to your new wife yeah. or your parents and not your old or your wife. children or you your know. children yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah you know so that is one tip i wanted to share yeah that's a good one That's Apart from that, one. anything else for people who are already married who are watching the show, like what what do oh, should there they? are tons of tips. Please tell me. You know, I I want to touch on one thing. So um, I had gone for my workout, okay, and I had this guy who came up came up to me, and he said, "Ma'am, I am sorted." I said, "Tell me how are you sorted?" Uh-huh. Ma'am, I have got my prenup done. He's a really rich guy. His I think his net worth is about a thousand crores. Okay. And I have got my prenup done. <laughs> Which gym? <laughs> 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 so house okay. okay so ma'am so now i can marry in peace i know also who he sink so i said no you are not sorted so he said why i said because prenups are illegal in india yeah. so if your 1000 crores is there she can still claim you know so he said i didn't know that ma'am i said yes she can claim from that money prenups if you want to get it done if you get married abroad You know, so now coming to the big fat Bollywood divorces. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what happens typically in in a Bollywood divorce? Okay. Now whatever um, I've done. Okay. So I can say the settlement, like in one of the cases, the settlement ranged from between twenty to twenty five crores. This is almost like ten years ago. So that was a huge sum plus a house. Now okay. a house in Bandra. Ah. Oh. can cost anything okay in this case the house was about 10 to 15 crores all right now let's talk about uh, a very sensitive topic yes. cheating right i mm. want to have a two fold question mm. in your experience who are mo- who is more likely to cheat the man or the woman man okay and the <laughs> second and the second one is how does cheating change the dynamics of a divorce proceeding does it make it easier and faster just want to understand that like how disastrous is cheating when it comes to a divorce proceeding Let's say if if the cheating has led to the divorce, okay, then there is a different dynamic. It influences the minds of the judges because nobody likes an adulterer. Yeah, you know we may say we may quote the law and say adultery is this and this is I'm not doing this, but I think somewhere it plays in the dynamics. I mean, adultering is not illegal by law, but in no, the, it's not illegal. Yeah, but but it, it is. It can be cited as one of the reasons for divorce. Hmm. Okay, now nobody usually files under adultery. It's very difficult to prove. Okay, so you can file under file under cruelty. Okay, and in that you can cite adultery. Women usually get. My experience has been that the minute there is adultery, uh, the women usually get a larger settlement. But sometimes you know divorces in India take so much of time that during the course of your divorce proceedings, you may meet a partner. that is also considered as cheating that is also considered as cheating so i had a very interesting case okay in the industrialist married to a dentist okay industrialist is on the is on the board of 75 listed companies okay he himself has a very very large company which make makes instruments okay turnover of the company about 800 crores annually okay married to a dentist okay and she filed for divorce we say oh you know he's not good he's not good enough so on and so forth case is going on for 3 years bollywood actress has filed for divorce okay who oh, bollywood actress no dentist no this is no no this is a parallel story okay parallel story okay she files for divorce and during the course of that proceeding industrialist and bollywood actress meet okay start dating each other ha huh. the um uh, newspapers get wind of it it's put in the newspaper suddenly the wife realizes my husband is quite a nice guy yaar if mm. this bollywood actress can date him that mm. means my husband is a good guy okay. so suddenly her demand which was which was locking between 5 to 10 crores it's up to 50 crores as the final settlement because she thinks that now he is dating this actress things look like they are serious so he is going to give me the alimony oh can you imagine 
so this has happened in india during my time in the court it happens only in india because <laughs> you know in america divorce will not take mu- that much time really why what is the difference india because and us because in india also if i can say a socio legal difference is we are a pro marriage country we are not a pro pro divorce country you know the minute your marriage is breaking up everybody says chala lo in america they says tod do hmm bahut zyada farak hai hmm so you tell me this so if a divorce proceedings are going on for 10 12 years yes until then i am not divorced also no so i'm still married to that person you are then in pakistan occupied kashmir okay neither idhar ka na udhar ka okay so then 10 okay. years I, I, so how do i decide do i um, wait, you know fight for the money and wait for 10 years or do i just not you know continue with my life with a new partner like how do i make that decision so i just think you should find better ways of of living a new life okay okay and not be so open and vocal about it you know i get it can you break down the the top reasons for divorce for uh, men adultery okay okay men i i have seen after the age of 40 you know they become especially men who were doing okay you know and suddenly they get i call them this um, the hedge fund specialists okay you know they are all these bankers and everybody who were all geeks so they spent 10 15 years in a bank they learnt everything you know and suddenly they've started a hedge fund a little investment bank they're managing your money suddenly they've got a lot of money you know at 40 you see them uh, uh, wearing tommy hilfiger you know chanel huh. i'm i'm wearing all these designer brands and i think very typical uh, designer brands you know there then there's this belt in mumbai where they all stay in gated communities that ma lakshmi belt in south you know, bombay in south bombay and they have like they live in addresses like 45 godrej or something i won't give out the addresses <laughs> you know but that kind of this so thing, you are you saying know? wealth uh, increases the chances of cheating <clears throat> no exponential growth in wealth exponential growth in wealth increases the chance of cheating yes so because rich. they suddenly feel the the wife is not good enough hmm you know suddenly you're exposed to a whole different world and the wife was with you when you were earning like 50000 bucks a month now suddenly you're you're spending 50000 rupees on a t-shirt hmm this is very common occurrence in india yes. right now I am seeing that I used to never see it 10 years ago but now it is really prevalent. Okay so in 2001 when I used to go to the court seven floors of the family court in Bandra okay there were about 10 15 cases okay today when I go a family court there is no parking there's triple parking in the family court mm. okay you see cars ranging uh, from uh, the humble and favorite maruti to the really expensive Porsches and the Ferraris somebody huh. came in a Ferrari to the family court as a oh boy his <laughs> wife is <laughs> going to take him to the cleaners yeah. you know so so you know uh, that is that is one thing and now when i go sometimes there are as many as 60 to 90 matters every so day. every no in one floor oh Okay. So earlier there were 10 to 15 in one floor now i'm looking at anywhere between 60 to 90 matters Okay. On one floor. And also, is divorce more common among rich people or p- middle class people? Middle class people, not that much. So mostly rich people are getting. Mostly super rich and and extremely poor. Most of the times, you are uh, fighting on the woman. Bo- let's say on the cases that you are fighting on the woman side. Yes. Uh, has there been a situation where you've been bribed from the rich guy's side? What has there been any so, instances so like that? So everybody comes in thinking that you know, let's bribe her. Hmm. I have also been threatened, you know, to walk away from the case. you know but i neither uh, like i said i'm an air force officer's daughter but that happens yes and uh, and sometimes i've even had a senior call and say that you know you are in this case so madam would you think of settling or would you want to withdraw from the case mm. i said no that has never crossed my mind mm. you know so you have to be smart but i am quite fearless mm. so but all these things happen You know, naturally, when you are looking at at uh, settlements, which are for five thousand crores and all, yeah, you know they are. Uh, uh, you better be prepped for this. And but yeah. people are coming to me because also of my integrity. You know, if I was taking a percentage, then suddenly I'd be like, you know, named in along with Jeff Bezos, one yeah. of the richest people <laughs> ever. So I'm not taking any percentages. Yeah. 
So what is the biggest is. biggest settlement you ever made? Uh biggest settlement I've ever made is 500 crores. 500 crores. Yeah. So have you come across any example where a woman had to pay alimony to the husband? There's only one but it's not uh, it's not a case that I handled. It was in the news where uh, uh, in India she had to pay alimony because her husband was also disabled. Was she, disabled okay yeah, okay. You know, so but that's so very rare you say. Rarest of rare. Because in like India, even if the wife is coming from a very rich family, yes. whereas the husband might be one hundredth of the wife's wealth, yes, it won't work. So don't get married just for money, ah, huh? from a yeah. guy's side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we made this podcast mostly about how men can protect themselves. So what should a woman do to financially protect to herself? To financially protect herself, I think um, you know I've said it earlier. I think women should try and get their names in the properties. Okay. You know because that is your your biggest thing where a woman is going to stay. is very very important you need to have a shelter you need to have a roof over your head even the law says that you know But the protection of women but for many you're saying many you're saying don't protect actually because because yeah. that would be the opposite no yeah you know yeah. so if a woman wants that yeah you know at least she should try and get a roof over her head hmm you know so that is one thing secondly keep her money separate because i always say women are also always last in and first out should i tell you why Why? Whenever there is a financial crisis, women's needs get cut first. So, okay, so they should also keep their finances separate. Keep your finances to, separate. Try to get their name in the house. Uh, try to uh, try to get the name uh, name in your house. I'm I'm giving very basic examples. Your your mother may give you sets worth, let's say, fifty uh, lakhs worth of gold, okay, and she may choose to give you twenty five lakhs later, not during the marriage uh, mm. uh, the marriage ceremony. immediately after the marriage don't come in and give the yeah. uh, you know the jewelry to the, the mother in law yeah that's Basically what usually the, happens no yeah you know that your jewelry expensive yeah take a locker it's just 5000 rupees or 10000 rupees a year just don't give it over there keep it separate because you never know when you might need the money yeah you know and it's not only for a divorce you may need it for something else you know so why should you be answerable for each and every penny hmm. and I think um, financially, women should work. I think that is the most important thing. And uh, earlier we just talked about cheating and adultering and how it impacts divorce. Yes. Now let's talk about physical abuse. If that Ooh. is proved, hmm. how does that change the dynamics of a divorce? Like, is the man like nothing? I have nothing to do now. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be able to protect myself at all in, yeah, in the court. Yeah, it's tough. If, What happens if then? If domestic abuse is is proven. it is quite tough and i think and how do they prove it though like they have some pictures and marks on the face usually you have pictures and marks on the face like i have got somebody um whose husband is abusing her she's got the video of that so now i don't mean to be disrespectful to women who are actually being abused mm. but do you f- see there are examples of women self inflicting abuse on them to maybe get a proce- you know big amount of money in a court to prove abuse so i look at it in this way that when you are there is there is no 100% in everything okay mm. so when i say that the laws are made to protect women sure some may be women may misuse it yeah okay but does that mean we shouldn't have these laws and i find that the women who do that they eventually get caught out because there are quite a few checks and balances in place men also get abused by women yes i had a case okay and he kept on calling my office and he said um i have to see ma'am i'll give any amount of money i have to see ma'am i have to see ma'am i said no yaar it's 9 o'clock at night i am so done you know one of those days oh. you know and he said please tell ma'am that my wife hits me and if i don't see her today i don't know what i'm going to do and he came to see me and he had videos and he was showing me his wife hitting him you know so men also get abused and then you know i not only fought his divorce but i also put him on a journey of recovery how much does a divorce good divorce lawyer usually charge so i would say anywhere in the region of 10 to 15 lakhs because okay. uh, per annum okay you know because you also need to look at you may have to file multiple cases but i think that is the estimate you should go with hmm. but it's still a lot better than um you know going for a lawyer who says i will take a percentage hmm. of your final settlement because giving a percentage it is not required by law hmm. percentages in settlements are illegal in india 
Hmm. A lot of people don't know or don't know that. Hmm. So you know, they don't know their rights also. They probably. don't know their rights also. So that's an important point. That's an important point. Hmm. Give me three tips for a happy marriage. T- three tips for a happy marriage. Yeah. Money, money, money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are three tips. <laughs> three tips for avoiding divorce. Three tips for avoiding. Be be honest, truthful. Be prepared to adjust, and uh, don't think that life is Instagram. Okay. And three tips if you are going through a divorce. Three tips. Uh, spirituality. Keep your finances handy. Keep your friends and family very close. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for staying till the end, and I'll see you in the next one.